In 2022, Riot Games introduced new pings to improve communication within the game. However, it took less than 24 hours for League of Legends players to realize that one of these pings resembled a rope. Players would go on to use this ping to tell their teammates to unalive themselves. They're giving me the, 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 the rope emoji. The ping was removed 11 months later. And that makes sense. But recently, the developers are removing more and more features from the game in order to combat toxic players, while at the same time taking away features that players loved. From unnecessary censorships to limiting communication, today we look at what Riot Games is taking away from you. But before we get into that, today's video is sponsored by Porofessor. Porofessor is an app for League of Legends designed okay. to help you play better. The app automatically provides you correct runes and item builds for whichever champion you select. And then in-game, you have an overlay letting you know how your performance is going, jungle and inhibitor timers on the map, and among other things, the enemy spell tracker. Click the spell you just saw be used, and now you have a more or less accurate cooldown of that spell. And in case you're curious, yes, Professor is completely safe to use and complies with Riot's terms. In general, if you're ready to start improving in your future games, click the first link in the description and download Professor today. League of Legends is a 14-year-old game, so it makes sense to add and remove features as time goes on. However, sometimes these features are removed for questionable reasons. On September 20th, 2023, a Riot employee going by the name Riot Auburn sent out an important tweet. In patch 1319, we'll be making scoreboard pings for allies visible only to yourself. So pinging things like Kha'Zix alive six times can no longer be used to harass teammates. Also, the way the bait ping is commonly being used today is unacceptable, and we will be removing and replacing it in the near future. All Draven means to this post. However, Internet detectives discovered that an important event took place three days before this decision was made that we were not aware of. On September 17th, Riot Auburn was playing Karthus and having a bad game. We can all relate to that. But his frustrated teammate had no sympathy. And 21 minutes into the game, the ally Aatrox would go on to ping Karthus five times in the span of one second. Riot don't make changes from personal experiences. Clown emoji. In my personal opinion, I like to believe that this is a funny coincidence because I imagine these kind of changes take time. But it is very much possible that I'm giving Riot too much credit. You can type Karthus ult if you need to, by the way. It's not, it's not hard. You, you, you can type. That clip from Riot Freak, a lead game designer at League of Legends, went a bit viral in the community for him being a bit condescending and just shrugging off the removal of features players cared for. But it did spawn some good memes. However, it also spawned a portion of the community to direct hate and threats toward the developer in real life, to the point that Freak has since announced that he'd be quitting social media. Which, okay. Fair enough, perhaps this is why League of Legends players keep losing privileges. Speaking of which, these are the exact communication features that were adjusted or removed this year. Doing any of the following pings will now only be shown to you or members of your party. Pinging your ally, pinging your ally level, pinging an ultimate of your allies, pinging your allies runes, pinging your ally summoner spells, pinging your allies items, and finally, pinging ally trinket. They preface these patch notes by specifically stating, in an effort to alleviate some of the toxicity players can face in their games, we've developed some new functionality that allows us to adjust the recipients of pings. Finally, new functionality. And among this, a somewhat hidden change, they nerfed the question mark ping. As of patch 13.22, they specifically limit the usage of the enemy missing ping. After using it three times in a row, you will reach a limit restriction. And the last communication change is the removal of pings which were added at the end of 2022. The new separate wheel of pings for vision featuring pings for vision cleared and need vision were completely removed. Although useful, they generally were hardly ever used. The need vision ping, however, was added into the main ping wheel. However, it replaced the bait ping arguably the most problematic ping in the game. 
After revealing new changes and pings for the first time, some players quickly noticed that the bait ping kind of resembles a rope. They're giving me the, the, kill, the, 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 the rope emoji. That's the rope emoji. Someone hits, just give him the rope. Give him the rope emoji. They're all telling me to kill As a quick solution, Riot swapped the icon from this to this. An image that more closely resembles a fishing lure, or actual bait as it was intended. Regardless, for obvious reasons, it has since been removed from the game altogether. Oh my god, he's roping him because he's taking the farm. Oh no, now he's still dead. Fuck, I'll rope him. All things considered, the removal of pinging your allies is pretty unfortunate as it was actually useful. It's more surprising to me that a feature like this is entirely removed overnight instead of giving the player the option to disable it. Like all chat. When you first make your league account, the chat feature that allows you to talk to your opponents is automatically disabled. In patch 1121, we are disabling all chat in match made queues. Here's something you may have forgot. Two years ago, Riot randomly announced that they were going to remove all chat, once again as a method to combat toxicity. Which was of course very ironic because your opponents are hardly ever mean to you. It's usually your teammates. But it was discovered that maybe once again there was bias to Riot's decision making. The decision to remove all chat was led by Riot Brightmoon, the director of production for gameplay on League of Legends. The announcement was received negatively as people didn't agree with it being a toxic feature. However, some players started bringing up the point that perhaps Brightmoon had a personal negative experience from all chat because he plays on an official Riot account which has been stuck in bronze for years. So if I know League of Legends players, they probably were making fun of him for being a Riot employee and being in bronze. If I view it from that perspective, then I can see the feature being constantly toxic. But you may notice the chat is still there. What happened? Well, after an overall negative reaction, they said they would instead test the removal in certain regions first. This included the Korean server. Hey folks, I'm Andre, also known as Medla. And I'm Jeremy, aka Riot Brightman. However, in the end, Brightmoon, the guy who was leading the decision, received a promotion to a different position. And we basically never heard about this ever again. Despite the fact that the initial announcement was pretty absolute on the removal happening. But with recent changes, I wouldn't be surprised if Riot tackles the issue again in the future. Get your jungle diffs in the chat while you still can. And now we... That's too toxic bro. They're gonna remove it for sure by the way. 